When you are selecting a template, which is the design and the layout, how your website is going to look, when you are selecting that template for your website, there are both free templates that are going to be available to you, and of course, you know there's going to be premium templates that you're going to need to pay for. So each of them has their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, what we're going to take a look at is just how to go about installing a template, whether or not you select a free or paid template, it's going to be the same process. A couple of things to keep in mind when you are looking through free templates, and I have pulled together a big list of free templates that look really nice, uh, that they're responsive, so they work on mobile devices as well, so that you'll have a starting point to look at. When you install a template, it may or may not look just like the demo did. For instance, sometimes all of the extensions that they have used on their demo are not included in the package. You may have to install those separately. Uh, they may or may not have provided the image, but the functionality will still be there and you will be able to go in and install those extensions and you will be able to add your own images in. So it's a good idea to take a look at any documentation the developer may have provided to give you an idea of what they used and what you'll need to use as well. Here I've found a template that I would like to take a look at. This particular one is called Food World. Uh, you do want to keep in mind that, okay, although I'm not building a site that has anything to do with food, I like the layout. I like how this looks. I like how it functions. I like the drop down menus. I like the slideshow going on in the background. I like that I can have three big boxes right here on top that I can customize with my services or whatever I want to highlight to a visitor uh, who's coming to my site right away. So there's lots of things that I like about this and it doesn't matter whether or not I'm doing something related to food. So you don't necessarily need to choose something based on that it fits the, the theme of what you're going for. Also free templates may or may not have a link to the developer at the bottom. Uh, some of them will, some of uh, them will not. Typically if you do not want a link at the bottom to the developer, you'll have to lean a little bit more towards a premium theme. So now that I have the template that I would like to use, I need to go to the download page. And here I will click download and it is going to give me the file. So you'll see here this is going to be a zip file. We can save that. Now that that has been downloaded, I can go to extensions and template manager. Or on the left hand side, selecting template manager. Here I will see the templates that have already been installed. There are two site templates and there's two administrator templates. Here I will go to Extension Manager, click on Upload Package File. I'll be able to select the template that I have found and I can click Upload and Install. I will wait just a moment and it will give me a confirmation that the template has successfully been installed. So now it has given me the confirmation and I need to now enable this template. But you can see it's very easy here. It's going to give me step-by-step -step instructions. So I need to go to the Template Manager and make this the default template. When a template is installed, it's not automatically the default template that is available. So I will go ahead and go to Te Extensions and Template Manager, and I will see my Food World template has been selected here. You'll see that two of the templates are highlighted, and those mean those are the default templates. There is one for the main website, and there is one for the administrator. I will go ahead and select Food World as the default for the site template. Going back to my demo site, now that I've refreshed the page, I can see the template has been applied. You will notice that my menu is not here, the boxes are not here. There's a few things that look differently, as I mentioned, could happen. And that's okay. This is a very easy way to fix this. Going back to my control panel, you'll notice here that under the style column that there are these red icons, meaning that there are no preview available. Now what we want to do is enable modules. We what we want to do is be able to see where modules are displayed on a page. So for instance, a menu is displayed as a module. So if you have uh, the main menu displayed in a module area number one, 
but your template has the, the menu displayed at area number two, then it's not going to function on your site. So here's how we do that. We're going to click on options and under templates we will see preview modules positions. We will see that that is enabled. We can now enable that here and click save and close. And you'll see all the site templates that there's a blue eye icon. And clicking on that, that will bring us up a demo. And here we will now see, okay, position main menu is where the menu will be displayed. Position top one, top two, top three, et cetera, will be my boxes that were displayed on the, on the demo site. And position right will be my sidebar here. And going down, I will see other positions available like here in, in the footer, for example. So this is going to be very helpful for you to determine how you can display your site. So if I want to fix the menu, I can go into my module manager from extensions. I can click on main menu. I see it is set to position one, which is why it is not displaying. And I can change the position. And I want to look for main menu which I found here. I can now save and close this. I can return to my demo site, click refresh and there it is. There is the menu that I have created. So you'll need to go through and you'll need to set up modules for each of the module positions that you would like to have displayed on your site and we will also take a look at how to go about customizing the templates a little bit further as well.